one. I achieved this finish with a spray that cost less than a hundred dollars. So I was looking for a sprayer that was less than $100 on Amazon and I came across this bad boy. And right off the bat, I was pretty impressed with the packaging, although it didn't have any bubble wrap. I didn't expect the quality to be this decent for the price that I paid. It came with a bunch of extra stuff and even the instructions were easy to read and they were in English. The sprayer came with four nozzles, ranging from 1.5 millimeters, which is a fine finish tip, all the way to three millimeters. The only thing that I didn't like is that the nozzles didn't have the numbers on. But it wasn't rocket science to figure out. After straining the paint and adding some water to thin it out, I went ahead and connected the hose. And then I was ready to rock. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really impressed with what this cheap little sprayer put out. I did some vertical and some horizontal patterns and was really shocked by how well it performed. The only thing that I didn't like were the round patterns. But that's the case with most sprayers. Round patterns always tend to have the most overspray and splatter. I had an old test panel laying around so I figured I'd see how it performs on actual wood. And after doing two coats with no sanding in 